Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure to turn on post notifications. And boy, oh boy, the drama always continues. So baby Stormy continues to expose Ice Spice, okay? Um, and she dropped some text messages. Um, and she also screen recorded the text messages too. Okay, some believe these are fake. Some believe that these are real. So the text message um, starts off as baby Stormy in the blue text thread and um, Ice Spice is in the black text thread. Okay, if you're confused. So baby Stormy says, how did the call end yesterday on a good note? And Ice Spice said, open and it again. But then James called me with Nikki's old manager of 11 years, and he said she was being unfair and asking for too much, which is what everyone's been telling me. But it's hard to negotiate with her because she doesn't let people talk like lawyers or James, etc. Then baby Stormy replies and says, just woke up. That's so annoying, bro. Does she not realize that she's asking for too much? Icebox says, no, she doesn't think so at all. Um, then Baby Stormy says, so frustrating. Do you think you guys will be able to come to a compromise? Then Ice Spice replied and said, hopefully, but we're about to put out another record in June for the Barbie soundtrack, which is an opportunity I brought her. Okay, now these text messages were back in May of 2023. Allegedly, okay. Then I Spy says, because Barbie asked me to do it alone, but, you know, since that's her brand, I invited her on and she doesn't even see that I'm bringing her something. She kind of like my mom, ungrateful and delusional. Damn. Oh my goodness. Now, hopefully these text messages are fake, but... Because Ice Spice has been so quiet while baby Stormy has been um, exposing her and she did post pictures that she knows Ice Spice, um, I feel like there could be some truth to how Ice Spice and Nicki not really that close anymore. I really don't think Nicki Minaj is messing with Ice Spice. I do feel like a deal had fell through and um, Ice Spice probably doesn't want to associate with Nicki Minaj anymore because she already got her two collaborations and she already has the barbs as fans. Um, and so Nicki probably feel used by Ice Spice like she did with Megan and all the other female rappers. But, you know, Nicki has to kind of learn that you don't need to be friends with every female rapper you work with. It could just be business. And even though Nicki Minaj tried to do business with Ice Spice, Ice Spice has already been signed. And Ice Spice probably got people in her ear, just like Doja Cat, Botch and Bitter, and Megan Thee Stallion, okay? And a lot of people in the industry behind the scenes, they don't really mess with Nicki like that. Now, it also looks like Megan is coming for Nicki Minaj, okay? So if you guys remember, Nicki was on Megan's head top when Piss dropped, and she was going off all week. And there's an old tweet resurfacing of Nikki saying, y'all want to bring up family members and lying on your dead mother, lying to Gail, lied and effed your best friend's man, told me to drink and go to the clinic if I was pregnant, all because I wouldn't let your funky butt pour liquor down my throat. B thinks she a bully because she get a devil nation brunch every year. Um, Be mad at party. He told all your tea. But you taking shots at my family. Get up on your good foot. Pink Friday 2 Platinum. Go apologize to your mother, nasty serpent. Repent. <laughs> oh my goodness. And because of that, uh, Megan Thee Stallion has been teasing new music. And she posted a picture of these DVDs where she has the curse of the serpent woman. Okay, so she's took Nicki Minaj's insult and she's going to use that against her in her new music. And I guess she's putting out these DVDs. I don't know if these are supposed to be gaming DVDs, but either way, um, it looks like Megan Thee Stallion is planning on clapping back at Nicki Minaj 
Um, and like I told you guys before, Megan Thee Stallion will be replying to Nicki Minaj's Bigfoot in her album. Okay, she's going to use Nicki for her album rollout. So it looks like she has adopted Nicki Minaj's new nickname for her um, as the Nasty Serpent. And she's going to be using that and making some money off of it. So let me know how y'all feel about that. Now, moving on to Doja Cat. Doja was caught jamming to JT's new song. Okay. And it looks like um, a lot of fans want Doja Cat to hop on the OK remix. Okay. Let me know how y'all feel about that. You know, I wouldn't mind if Doja Cat hop on the OK remix, but I do think Sexy Red or Gucci Mane or Soldier Boy would sound better. You know, it is a trap song, but Doja Cat is very diverse. She can do any type of collaboration and she has worked with Gucci Mane. Okay. So, you know, Doja Cat could adapt um, and give JT a feature, but I don't really feel like Doja Cat really like collaborating with a lot of different um, black artists. That's what it comes off to me as. She really don't like collaborating with a lot of black artists. You know, you got to be weird or emo or demonic for her to even think about working with you nowadays. Now, Cardi B is shaken and scared of Akbar, okay? You know, Akbar um, is continuing to put Botch and Bitter on blast. You know, she still believes that Cardi B sent somebody to the club to basically pop her in the face. And um, Cardi B has been on social media, has been on Instagram Live, but she is ignoring Akbar. A lot of fans are saying that she is scared to face Akbar and she is guilty of sending somebody to smack Akbar in the face. So that's why she's ignoring Akbar because she is guilty. I think Botch and Bitter is not going to go back and forth with Akbar because one, she did probably send somebody to smack Akbar, so she doesn't want to incriminate herself. And then two, I don't think that she could win against Akbar in a one-on-one fight, okay? She definitely can't. That's why she got to send people to throw bottles and throw hands because she can't do it herself, okay? But also people are calling out JT too. JT's still ignoring Suki with the loose coochie, Okay, but I think JT knows that if she responds to Suki, it's going to give Suki more clout. Same thing with Botch and Bitter and Akbar. It's the same type of thing. And also, I feel like if she tells Suki it's not about her, then, you know, Botch and Bitter's minions will be upset because then they know it's about Cardi B. Okay, so it's kind of twofold. Now, a bar song, Tipsy by Shibuzi, has dethroned Texas Hold'em by Queen B as the number one song on Paola Bora's Hot Country Songs chart. This is the first time in history that two black artists have topped the country chart back to back. Okay, um, congratulations to Queen B and Shibuzi, but Shibuzi got realized that this is because of the Queen B cosign. Queen B really helped a lot of black artists in country um, because now they're able to get more recognition because of Cowboy Carter. Now, Kung Fu Kenny has went and stepped on the beige BBL's rotten, nasty stomach, okay? And he dropped a song back-to-back, a diss song back-to-back on Champagne Thickums, okay? And he cooked him again. Now, he starts throwing shots at academics, okay? He said, yes, somebody's lying. I can see the vibes on act. Even he looking compromised, let's peel the layers back. Yeah, because academics, when he was doing his review on Kung Fu Kenny's Euphoria, he was acting distraught, but then said Kung Fu Kenny lost. How? When the disses was hitting, okay, chipmunk. And there's a lot of other media personalities that are just siding with Champagne Thickums because Champagne Thickum texts them. Corny. And so then he says, ain't no brownie points for beating your chest. Harassing ain't fucking with good people. Make good people go to bat. Conspiracies about cash, dog. That's not even the leak. Now he's talking about, I think, cash XO, 
who allegedly is associated with the weekend that's been spilling tea on champagne thickums. Okay. Um, he said, find the jewels like Cash Doll. Um, Cash Doll was looking for her jewelry. Okay. And so um, Champagne Thickums is trying to find out who's leaking information to Kung Fu Kenny. He said, I need you to think. Are you finally ready to play? Have you ever? Let's see. Have you ever thought that OVO is working for me? Fake bully. I hate bullies. You must be a terrible person. Everyone inside your team is whispering, saying you deserve it. Can't Tussie slide up out of this one. It's just going to resurface. Every dog got to have his day. Now live yours in purpose. Now, if you guys remember, Champagne Thickum put out an album call for all the dogs. So this is a double entendre, okay? And then he said, it was fun until you started to put money in the streets, then lost money because they came back with no receipts. Okay, so Champagne Thickums was looking for some tea on Kung Fu Kenny. Okay, I actually have some tea on Kung Fu Kenny on Patreon. But he was looking for some tea on Kung Fu Kenny. And unfortunately, the people went back and told Kung Fu Kenny and did not give Champagne Thickums no tea. Oh my goodness, what a waste of money. I'm sorry that I live a boring life. I love peace. I don't believe that. No, shade Kung Fu Kenny. I don't believe it's that boring. But we gonna move on. He said, but war ready if the world is ready to see you bleed. No, you can't sleep. These images trouble you when the wires in your circle should puzzle you. If you were street smart, then you would have caught that your entourage only is trying to hustle you. A hundred niggas that you got on salary and 20 of them want you as a casualty, and one of them is actually next to you, and two of them is practically tired of your lifestyle. They just don't have the audacity to tell you, but let me tell you some game, because I can see you, my little homie. You playing dirty with propaganda, it blows up on ya. You're playing nerdy with Zach Bia and Twitter bots. Okay, so Zach B is like an influencer. He hangs out with the Kardashians, if you don't know who he is. But your reality can't hide behind Wi-Fi. Your little memes is losing steam. They figured you out. Your forest opinions is not convincing. Y'all need a new route. It's time that you look around on who's around you before you figure that you're not alone. Ask what Mike would do. So basically, Kung Fu Kenny is saying that Champagne Thickums got snakes in the camp. Interesting, which I do believe. I don't believe that all those people, Chubbs, and whoever hangs out with Champagne Thickums, that they all like them. That's not true. A lot of these artists, when they have people behind their team, a lot of the people just don't mess with them. They're only there for a check. It happens with Megan, Nikki, and all these other big celebrities. Champagne Thickums is no difference. But the reason why he's saying, ask what Mike would do, is because Michael... Jackson allegedly was very paranoid before he passed. Okay, Michael Jackson. So, you know, that's the reason why he's saying, you know, as what Mike would do, because remember, Kung Fu Kenny referenced um, Michael Jackson as um, Champagne Thickums, and Kung Fu Kenny referred to himself as Prince. Okay, and I believe um, Champagne Thickums also broke a few records by Michael Jackson. So that's why he's saying as what Mike would do. Now, Kung Fu Kenny also was very strategic with the title of this disc record like he was with Euphoria because, you know, Champagne Thickums is the producer of Euphoria is about high schoolers. And, um, you know, that show is very explicit. Okay. And, you know, no shade, you know, Champagne Thickums allegedly messed with are a lot younger than him, okay? So the title, 616 in LA, dropped exactly at 6 a.m., 616 a.m., you know, probably LA time, okay? Um, The 16th of June of 2024 is Father's Day in Canada. Um, Tupac was born June 16th. I believe he's a Gemini. O.J. Simpson's murder trial was June 16th. And this is why I've been telling y'all Kung Fu Kenny is the king of rap. I've been telling y'all this for years. 
while y'all big up Champagne Thickums and his Bane's BBL, Champagne Thickums is not as great as Kung Fu Kenny. Kung Fu Kenny is more strategic. He even got Jack Anoff, the child obsessed racist writer, to be a producer on the record. Okay, on the disc record of Champagne Thickums because Champagne Thickums put out that trash disc record called the Taylor Made Freestyle. This is a chess move. Coco Jones released her new single, Here We Go, and it's completely fire. A 10 out of 10. The R&B song of the year. Sorry, Normani. No shade. I like Normani, but Coco Jones did her big one with Here We Go. And I'm going to need everybody to go stream it, okay? Because we got to make this chart. We got to go back to supporting talent. So everybody needs to go stream after this video. Here we go by Coco Jones. You know, put it in your playlist. And let's support these R&B girls that are actually talented. Now, Dua Lipa also dropped her album, Okay, and I feel like it's not really getting a lot of love. Like, I don't see a lot of people talking about it. But I said this before that Dua Lipa had um, a few hits that she put out. You know, I did like Trainee Season. I thought that song was pretty cool. Um, I think Houdini was the lead. Okay, um, and I like that song too. And there's some songs I do like, you know, on the album that weren't singles, like French Exit. I do like that song. Illusion, I like that song. Um, what You Doing, I like that song. I just feel like people not really checking for Dua Lipa like they was before. What happened? Y'all switched up on Dua Lipa for Sabrina Carpenter? Like, y'all be messed up. But anyway, um, you know, I think that Dua Lipa, she deserves a stream. And so does Coco Jones, okay? Both talented, um, you know, R&B and pop girls. So let me know how y'all feel about it. Um, if y'all like the Kung Fu Kenny diss, who is in the lead, who is not? I think Kung Fu Kenny is 3-0. Champagne Thickums, get off the floor. Um, and I'm excited for these beefs, okay? Um, but anyway, I got some hot, hot tea on Patreon. Link will be in the description. And I will see you guys in the next video and have an amazing day.